Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we're gonna be playing some uh, some general cycle and usually I'm playing general cycle and I say this is a general cycle because it's pretty fast but still like has all the elements that all decks require. This time we'll be playing just a pure general cycle which is like pretty much only general and the most necessary cycle cards. I'm gonna get a kill on this Necromancer. I think, yeah, he's gonna go for the cycle just to activate the Viking Tower, but it's not gonna work. I'm gonna cycle once again. So basically right now we're gonna be playing very aggro against my opponent. I'm gonna play Super Devil in the back, actually. I don't know, I kind of felt like it. Uh, my opponent will be playing a Ghost. I'm gonna play the Ghost myself as well. Let's see how will it turn out. Uh, I'm gonna play Skeletons just to awaken his ghost. Uh, I'm gonna get some tinies on it as well. Uh, I think I'm gonna get a kill on this Piercing Archer. And then I'm gonna uh, kill his ghost after it gets one shot on my tower. And I, sh I don't think it uh, should be too bad of a deal. Uh, we're still winning. It's obviously the very early of the game, but it's always nice to see some result already. I'm gonna go for a rolling steel to reset this necromancer and uh, yeah, unfortunately I won't be able to uh, protect it either. So this time he's gonna get away with this interaction and yeah, I feel like I'm gonna just suck it and uh, reload it. So against Chivache, he's gonna be playing Viking Birdsmoth, so I'll have to be very careful about playing my generals. Because if I ever mistime it, it's gonna be a very huge trouble for me. Uh, that's why I'm gonna obviously try to be very careful about it. I'm gonna try to micro my way out of it. Unfortunately, I uh, heal tiny doesn't jump, so that's gonna be very unfortunate for me. Uh, Chivache actually starts uh, very well against me this time. I'm gonna play general on the opposite side just to kinda uh, get him out of the comfort zone. I'm gonna play some micro cards uh, just to not die usually that's a very good start i'm gonna get a ghost to kill his uh, ghost and my opponent will be playing viking at the general but it's way too late and i've already uh, achieved everything that i want in the position i'm gonna play ice tiny just to kite everything back i'm gonna micro my way out of this once again I'm gonna kill the twins and somehow, some way, we're gonna get away with playing the fastest general cycle ever against a, a Viking Brickstone. So that's already a success for my deck. I honestly thought it was more of a troll deck. I'm not gonna win everything with it, but it's looking pretty good so far and I'm just looking forward to the other games. And in the second game of today's video, we're gonna be facing some Russian guys, so let's just cycle a Ghost first play, see what he's uh, up to. He's gonna cycle a lot of cards first play, as you can see. Uh, he's gonna even get some damage with these skeletons, I didn't expect him uh, that to do that. But yeah, we're gonna get some de Ghost damage uh, ourselves, because obviously... Uh, Uncontested Ghost deals a lot of damage. We're gonna let these tinies to do the job. My opponent very aggressive uh, while cycling his tinies. I'm gonna play heal tiny just to counter his stuff that he's doing. I'm gonna play Ghost in front of my general just so it's gonna be harder for him uh, to make uh, progress in the position. I'm gonna play Ice Tiny just to stop his advances. And yeah, he plays uh, Skeletons right into the Ghost, which is definitely not a right way to do things. So I'm gonna just play second general, and right now I think my opponent will never stop my push, and that's gonna be just GG's nice play. So let's jump to the game number three, shall we? And the next opponent of today's video will be a zero medal Lelosk, who I don't know what play, so we're gonna find it out. Obviously, with these types of decks, uh, you kind of have to assume that you are better than your opponent and if you are not, uh, you will lose. So uh, I'm kind of basing uh, my uh, deck pool uh, in this video just uh, that I'm better than my opponent and if it's not the case, I'm gonna just take the L. So 
let's just hope that uh, I'm right uh, on this one. I'm gonna play another ghost because it's pretty much the most annoying card ever uh, to play with and against. Uh, I'm gonna actually get one hit from this general which is very unfortunate. But it doesn't really matter because we get some counter push also I would love to get my general in front of this spam but like beggars can be choosers uh, my opponent will be playing general as well and uh, general with phone keg that's that's interesting we're gonna see what he's gonna do right now I uh, am still scared of going just a uh, naked general uh, on his uh, on his part of the board, but right now he kind of wasted a lot of mana, so I'm gonna just play General Ghost and hold the Rolling Steel in case something bad happens. I'm gonna play Heal Tiny just to make sure that he's not gonna try any funny business. And right now he's gonna be playing a Skeleton Horde, which I was afraid of, but General will take the tower down and it's gonna be absolutely phenomenal position for me because right now he's just a tower down and when in doubt, when he's gonna like uh, try any uh, cheesy all-in on me, I'm gonna just play general in the pocket as a counter shot and that's pretty much one of the best plays in the game. Like, if you can get away with playing general in your uh, opponent's pocket, it's pretty much gonna be already a very good position uh, to be in. I'm gonna play rolling still because honestly why not? I'm gonna stop his general from getting any hit on my uh, tower. Uh, Ghost will take care of the stone form, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna play uh, another Ghost in the back. My opponent will uh, desperately try to get something with his skeleton hordes, but it's just not gonna happen. I'm gonna play uh, Ice Tiny here. I'm gonna get my heal tiny to heal my general, which is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I don't even know whether I want to defend this or not. I don't think even I had to defend this because most of these skeletons were just kited into my uh, into my ghosts. And that's gonna be GG's nice late against another opponent. He was playing very weird like spam deck that was kind of trying to overwhelm you if you don't have a small spell. But uh, I was playing a super cycle <laughs> of a general and obviously with uh, every like good deck you have a small spell so I was never in trouble of losing this game. That, that was fun I would say. Not gonna rant too much about my opponent but his deck was bad. GG's nice play, let's jump to the game number 4. And next game will be against Nebabos, who is very close to some whose nick is very close to some very bad world, which I frankly cannot even use on my YouTube channel, so I'm not gonna deep down too much into the lore of this nickname. I'm gonna just focus on playing video game and my opponent will play some uh, helicopter and the swordsman first play. I still don't know what deck uh, can it be, uh, but I'm gonna uh, already try to uh, guess it. I Okay, he's playing footman. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a good one. I have absolutely no clue what my opponent is playing, but uh, okay, he's gonna play poison here, which is very inconvenient. But at the same time, it was just ice tiny that I had to do to counter this plan. Frankly, I don't know what he was trying to stop with poison, uh, and yeah, uh, my opponent is already in a uh, sorts of trouble, and I still don't know what is he playing because. Uh, it doesn't really connect uh, footman with the uh, I, I don't know honestly I'm gonna just play general not uh, to worry too much about that I'm gonna play heal tiny uh, just to heal my general in case uh, he needs it I'm gonna play rolling steel just to damage these footmen that were engaging my uh, general uh, earlier I don't think my opponent can all in me right now at the bridge so I'm gonna just uh, play flying bomb uh, against his mana collector. I'm gonna play some skeletons against his swordsman. That's gonna be pretty much everything cleaned up. He may be having a mana advantage since he plays a helicopter very early. Maybe he's even up 5 mana. We'll have to figure it out uh, ourselves. Uh, I think... Okay. That was absolutely missed heal time. Do not repeat this mistake at home. It's not gonna work out. Uh, it worked out kinda for me because... Uh, 
I'm a game legend, but yeah, uh, you have to be very precise with your timing. Also, he's gonna be playing three gunners, so that was the gimmick of his deck, and uh, that's why I'm gonna play general right now. And if he plays footman, I'm gonna just take it. Okay, that, that were not footmen right now. I think I may be in a little of trouble because right now I don't have a big spell to uh, compete with uh, with this. Yep. I think I'm gonna just try to micro my way out of this and fortunately I did. That was a very value ghost as you probably could have seen. And yeah, that's gonna be just GG's nice plate. I didn't expect uh, to me... Uh, Capital I, I mean, getting uh, the best of the uh, mistake like this. I expect to drop a tower, honestly, as he played a three gunners with his two tanks. But yeah, it was absolutely, uh, it was absolutely over because I would take the second uh, tower in the meantime. So GG's nice played. Unfortunately, three gunners won't bring my guy a victory because uh, he was uh, unfortunate enough to run into a deck which was literally. Flying bomb cycle. So we're gonna jump to the game number five, and probably after that we'll wrap this video up. And we're gonna get a game against user three ninety thousand two hundred thirty one, which uh, pretty much means that uh, my man, who I'm facing right now in the game, uh, forgot to put his nickname uh, when it was uh, possible, and he got assigned his ID as his nickname. And unfortunately in Boom Arena. You cannot really switch nicknames, so he's kind of stuck with it uh, forever or until the update that uh, allows you to do so. My general will get a shot against the skeleton hut. I'm gonna play a rolling steel just to eliminate all the skeletons that will uh, approach it ever again. Uh, general will deal uh, a lot of damage since my opponent uh, will be playing a T-Rex to mitigate the uh, damage, which is definitely not the way to go. Unfortunately, my ghost will prevent uh, T-Rex uh, from being completely kited and thus uh, and thus uh, T-Rex will splash once. I'm gonna get away with another uh, general attack though. It's already on the tower, it's dealing a massive damage and this tower will go down unless my opponent, I don't know, uh, plays a cyclone or missile or something crazy. In which point, at which point I would be comfortable anyway because uh, I've already achieved the uh, thing that I wanted to achieve. I'm gonna play general very swiftly just to tank for my ghost. And that's gonna be already good game, nice play because my opponent will resign. And that's why I'm gonna probably just uh, play a game number 6 as well because I've, I figured that we still have time in the video. And uh, we've got some uh, very unfunny resignations uh, here today. So yeah, we're gonna just jump to the game number six and then call it a day. And game uh, number six, hilariously enough, will be against Chivache845 once again, who uh, we have uh, played the first game of uh, today's video and uh, we've managed to win, but obviously it's not an easy matchup. So I'll still have to be very careful. I've cycled all of my cycle cards. He has played a ghost, obviously, right now. I'm gonna play skeletons here. I'm gonna play ghost myself, just to get something going on. I'm gonna play, actually, a flying bomb, because honestly, why not? He's gonna go for some aggressive approach. I would love to at least deal with this uh, footman. If I do, it's gonna be already great. Obviously, you would prefer something else. I kinda me messed up with this with this tiny, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, only two shots from the uh, ape and then two shots from the necromancer, yeah, good stuff. So we're gonna play another ghost, because honestly why not, he's gonna play a, a cycle of which I'm not really a fan. He's gonna play a lot of troops here, which I'm not a real fan of either. I'm gonna play heal tiny and right now I feel like we're gonna be having a lethal attack because once I saw him play Cyclone, I knew he's gonna be forced to play Viking and then I was about to play General plus Super Devil to kill his Viking and get like one or two shots on his tower. But since he played troops, oh no, sir, it's not gonna work out. And yeah, I just took the advantage of that. 
absolutely and without hesitation. So, okay, this goes unfortunately will go down and that will suck a bit because I really cannot do anything about this Necromancer. I have to let it uh, go for a bit. But doesn't really matter. We're gonna go for the General and Skeletons in the middle just to piss him off, honestly. Make him uh, waste mana. Uh, I believe he still received one shot. Uh, I'm gonna play, obviously, a Flying Bomb on this. I'm gonna play a Heal Tiny just to uh, heal my... Uh, just to heal my uh, Super Devil. Uh, and then I'm gonna play a Pocket uh, General just to... Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, try to take a value out of my uh, Super Devil. I'm gonna play uh, Ghost here. He's gonna play a Viking. Against which I'm gonna obviously play uh, the Super Devil. I'm gonna then go for the uh, General. I'm gonna go for a Heal Tiny just to heal my Super Devil and take advantage of it even more. Uh, and yeah, that's gonna be pretty much the end of the game. My man Chivache got uh, beaten twice in today's video, very brutal thing to see, the second game I would say even more brutal than the first one since I was able just to keep cycling generals after he cycled first viking, so uh, yeah, brutal, 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 what else can I say? GG Snipes played and I think that was a very cool and fun video. Maybe, maybe uh, some will say that I'm playing not a serious deck, but if it works, it works. And frankly, I'm kind of good with it, so I absolutely have uh, a permission from a god and myself to play this deck. And if you feel like you can play this deck too, uh, try it out, definitely check it out in Boom Arena. Maybe try to record a video and share it with me. And if you want to see me play your deck in the next video, Leave it down in the comment down below because I'm currently searching for some decks to uh, play. Obviously, the community effort will be gladly appreciated. I would love you to send me your deck. And yeah, without further ado, thanks for watching. Till the end, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.